All right, guys, so we just showed up at the local junkyard and look what we have here. No title for parts. Uh, this thing's for sale. Let's see what it's got in it. Um, kind of junk parts wise. Can't lie, but pop the hood. Under the hood. Let's see what's under the hood. GSR. Stock B18B1. Everything about this car is pretty much destroyed. I mean, we will source some parts off. The, it's got the bumper in here, some parts and whatnot. I mean, it's got like an exhaust on it and stuff, but this car is pretty much junk. So, um, no title. P75. So. P75 ECU. Um, this is going to be a similar situation to the Black Prelude. I guess we figured out what we're doing this week. All right, so we're working out a deal on the Integra. Uh, we're back out in the yard. We're gonna grab the Integra sedan uh, passenger seat to finish off the red Civic. And then we are going to see what the deal is on that Integra. Yep. And I guess we're gonna have a little surprise coming towards the end of this video or, well, this will be or... the beginning of the next video. So surprise, we're buying an Integra probably and maybe there will be other cool stuff happening so stay tuned watch this episode all the way through just because you guys are great and if it doesn't come this episode it'll come next for sure you guys are gonna like it well i mean whatever we're thinking could happen tonight even so never even know uh, i'll let you guys know when we uh do something cool integra seed is out thanks to my handy milwaukee drill definitely not mind getting a, a sponsorship by milwaukee tools man these things really really help out in the junkyard i'm not gonna lie i'm not trying to hype them up but paying for good tools is definitely worth it but taking expensive tools out in the junkyard is also a risk so just be mindful um seats out tyler's grabbing a handle hopefully that integra will uh pan out good and the civic i think the Civic's gonna turn out really nice all right, so we got our handle and we got the Integra seat. We're gonna go figure out what the deal is with that Integra outside. So, I'll let you guys know. What's going on, guys? So we are here at a different yard than usual. This yard is just down the road from the local. Um, there's not a whole lot here, but there's a couple things like in that corner. There's a Miata. And up here, there's a Del Sol that we've been momentarily picking parts off of here and there. Not really, but prices here vary a lot but we're about to grab some rear discs off this um del sol because the eg needs a new brake setup the brakes are locking up on me and bottom line is we need new brakes so why not grab some rear discs and the price on these rear discs it's is right. good it's a good price so we're gonna get it working on that So other than having a trusty Milwaukee impact, this this is gonna be your best friend doing a job like this is uh, heat. Heat is extremely, extremely useful. And um, we don't really have to be too careful here because this junkyard drops the gas tank the second these cars get here because they know it takes heat to remove this stuff. But as you can see, we have the lower control arm bolt removed and the upper control arm bolts removed. We're just working on that. Last. With all that being said, don't start a fire in your junkyard. Yeah, don't start a fire in your junkyard. Um, but yeah, we're good on both sides. We're just, just need to take this out and then the whole thing should drop down and then we'll have rear discs um, other than the e-brake cable and then the brake line, which might be a pain, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Be careful. Thanks, Tom. Shit's out. All right, so this is how we're looking on both sides now. Everything's disconnected except for the e-brake line or the e-brake cable. And then that MF right there, it's kind of hard to see, but that bolt is not coming out. 
This car is rusted to death. So we're gonna hope that we can just rip them out because it's so rusty, but um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens. Bada bing, bada boom, they're out. Bada bing, bada boom, yeah. Only took, uh, it really just took manpower, I'm not gonna lie. But they're out, so. It's probably the longest time we've spent at a junkyard getting one thing. Yeah, but rusty is all hell and uh, definitely not easy to remove, so. But they're out, and this still sole is, you know. Well, on our way back up, this yard actually has these uh, handy barrels. Makes things a lot easier. Well, guys, we uh, stumbled across something. This isn't local to us. Well, it is, but we didn't know about it. Um, we're not going to spend the day looking through here because they are about to close and we just got here. So we're going to spend tomorrow looking through here. So we'll be back here tomorrow. And uh, you guys will be getting another junkyard exploration video. Oh, fuck. That's thing and that'll not have That's yep. So, I don't want to record too much, but um, mm. as you can see, this is tick infested junkyard vibes. Um, I'll catch you guys when we uh, get to an in depth exploration. Ground is very slippery here. Um, so, it's the next day, kind of. The next day or the day after i don't know the days get mixed up when you're working on stuff um super rainy the past two days so this junkyard expedition is going to be slippery i am getting sideways with every step but yeah we didn't really do too much exploring when we came here but we just talked to the owner super super nice guy they usually are when you get here at 8 30 on a wednesday but uh yeah we got some looking to do some things to grab and uh, today we're going to be grabbing a battery for the Civic and then looking around, see what we can find. Look at this pile of old rotors. That's quite the collection. That is quite the collection. There's something that's a little bit satisfying about junk. I don't know if you guys are on the same page, but seeing junk all nicely piled up. It's quite satisfying. Usually we don't see places that stack cars, but this is one of those types of places. So maybe we'll find some, some crazy stuff that's three cars high and untouchable. So there's not a whole lot of foreigns here, but this yard is a little bit different than ones we usually come to because it's kind of well i mean it's it's pretty similar to the tick infested one except the tick infested one is like 80s 90s 70s 60s cars or this is like gonna be a little bit of a newer type of yard i would say like stuff like this is here this thing's got a cold air on it what is that k and n not bad So <clears throat> this place is in jungle mode because of the season we're in, which is, oh, I just fell. Good thing I wasn't on top of a car. Here's something interesting though. So this is the first Japanese car that I think is cool enough to show. It's a little 3000 GT. Um, I'm getting bird every second among poison ivy and everything else you find out here in the jungle of the midwest but this thing's decent i'd show you it but it's slightly buried uh if you guys need 3,000 parts um let me know because this one is probably not going to be touched for a long time and this place is a lot closer to home than the tick infested junkyard so if you guys see something you need don't be afraid to drop a comment um, we'll grab it and throw it up on the website, kaishaparts.com. Uh, I see a couple foxes. I know that these are sought after. This is actually the first car I learned how to drive manual and was a fox. And uh, that white one right there reminds 
we have the one that I learned in, so let's check it out. Fox body dash still in there. I don't know what's worth money on these cars. It's got an engine. Not sure what the engine is. Um, that thing looks kind of cool back there. What is that? CRV. Um, Subi. Not like our usual junkyard expeditions. Accord spotted. I see another Accord back there. You can just see the NSX taillights. But we're about to take a dive into this mangrove. Um, who knows what awaits at the bottom of this hill? It could be death for all we know, but either way, there's a little Toyota right there. Cuts to a clip. So it looks like this kind of opens up into a farm field. A little Subi wagon. Hmm, do we want to go back there? I mean, it could lead us to somewhere cool. Let's go down here real quick. So I'm not sure if these are parts cars based on the condition and the location. They're kind of in an obscure area of the yard. It's a little bit closer to the owner's house, but I'm, there's no way this thing is a freaking parts car. This has to be a personal. I mean, it was on the road in 2018, you know what I mean? It's a really clean El Camino for the most part. I know that you guys know we're not into the American stuff, but I know you guys are into the American stuff or might be. So it's definitely worth showing blocks, blocks on blocks. This thing is sick. A little Fiat. Pretty sure, yeah, this is a Fiat. This thing is sweet. Probably a dream to drive. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of batteries though. All right, back to the yard. LS 400. You don't really see these in the yards too often because they don't blow up exactly. There's a big ass hole over here. Oh, the tax gone, but. All right, guys, so we're back in the yard and we are yeah, going to be. Just saying that my... All right, guys, so we're back in the yard. This Teggy that you guys saw the other day, what did we tell you? I don't think we told you guys anything, but we said we were a little disappointed. We didn't get it for the price we wanted. We said we were coming back. That's just how it is. Yep. Manifested it. Here we are for the right price, getting the shit we want. All right, so it's been quite the day here working on the Teggy. We got an exhaust for the Civic now, proper fart can. Another set of rear discs. We're about to grab the front knuckles off of it, and then the motor is ready to come out. Um, I didn't bring the tripod. I could have, but we were kind of all over the place because we're at a junkyard, you know? We're, we're doing a full pull at a junkyard, and sometimes you got to run back and forth to grab stuff. Sometimes you whack your finger super hard it's just not the most ideal conditions sometimes you got to cut things sometimes you got to burn things you know it's just not an ideal scenario but this thing's ready to be pulled out so we are going to get loaded up get the engine in the back of the truck and then we will be on our way so that's another set of rear discs and another b series to add to the collection of potential projects that we will be working on this winter b series is out We'll tell them that when they subscribe to our program. Oh yeah, so when you guys subscribe to the program, you'll understand. But anyways, we made it out like bandits as per usual. We got a B18, B1. That's gonna be going in Tyler's Integra as a, um, you know, it's gonna be going in there. That's what's gonna be happening. Um, anyways, we also got the rear trailing arms that have the rear discs. This is, this goes on to any of the Civics. 88 to 2000 
Um, we also got the front knuckles with the bigger calipers. That's going to be going on to my Civic. So we pulled two rear disc setups this week. Um, front knuckles and a B series. And then a bunch of obviously miscellaneous odds and ends. An exhaust, a fart can, um, some knockoff HKS Kanzai speed holes that I just wanted to grab just because I like junk. Um, we actually also got a free battery in this deal, which it would have been nice to get that at the beginning of the week. And a free set of four wheels. Yep, and a free set of 4 by 100 So all in all, we did pretty good on this run. Um, the B-Series is automatic, but we left with it. At the start of the video, you saw us check out that taggy. By the end of the video, you're seeing us pull the engine. So... Um, that's how we do stuff around here. We got a lot of, lot, a lot of things planned. Um, car meet is going to be happening tomorrow. I, I'm running out of words because we got stuff to do as per usual. But yeah, this has uh, been quite the, quite the week work wise. All right, y'all. So it's been quite the week. We've done quite a lot of things this week from going to junkyards that we haven't been to, to pulling B series out of junkyards, to pulling two sets of rear discs. It is now Friday and we are delivering the Accord that we just sold. Um, this thing isn't going to be in the videos under our workmanship, but it will be in town and um a good buddy of ours is picking it up that's more interested in these than we are so it'll be going to a good home <clears throat> today is the meet tonight at 6 30 is the meet um i think it's gonna be a good time if you want to come say something get over here because it's windy as a muff but yeah guys it's been a super long week we got a lot of stuff planned um this is gonna be the wrapping up of the video is dropping this thing off and then we're gonna do a couple fun things today that'll start off next video and then we'll have the meet so yeah. you got anything to say um stay tuned for the next video it's gonna be a full video of fun um getting rid of this accord finally well i shouldn't say finally she's lived a nice life in our possession sitting here not doing anything getting a rest um so hopefully she goes on and starts banging gears soon as always Alright, so we just sold the Accord. Um, <clears throat> pretty nice that it's um, going to a different home. What are your thoughts on that? I don't want it. Yeah, I mean, we, we picked it up. We didn't really have any intentions with it. That's kind of what we said to begin with. We kind of just grabbed it just in case. Uh, we are pretty invested on the Civic still. We're finishing that up after the next video will be the last video of the Civic and uh, we'll be done. So drop the bolt there. We'll be done with the Civic here shortly, but tonight we do have a meet planned, which we're both pretty excited about. Um, that's going to be its own video that will come out shortly after this one does. Um, so we're currently recording this on Friday. You'll probably be seeing this video. I don't know where to put this. Maybe Saturday. And then the meat video will be shortly after that. So that pretty much wraps it up for this week's content. I know we didn't film a whole lot, but it's because we were really busy, to be honest. And yeah, we we're kind of just a fast paced week. Yeah, um, we didn't really show you guys, but this is the B18 um, now in the shop. B18, B1. Good to go most likely we'll have to check it i mean this thing could be completely blown we have no idea either way though b series um integra series. rear discs we got an exhaust we got a muffler for the civic you guys saw everything we grabbed so yeah we uh we had a good week we learned something we learned that it's worth to just set an extra couple hours aside every day yeah. take your time and things will happen um that's kind of also why we haven't got so much footage. We've been just working on, focusing on what we're doing, you know. It's it's really fun to make the videos, but it's also when you get in the groove, it's you just can't stop sometimes. Yeah, you got to you got to just go with the flow to be honest and just work hard and everything else will come your way. Mm -hmm. Just put your head down and work hard. Sometimes when you're working 
it's hard to remember to record, but when we do record, it's because it's something really cool that we're really excited that's happening to us, so. And that's the best part about this is it's no longer just like, let's put our videos and compile them. Like it's, oh, this is cool. You guys will want to see this. And I love feeling that. So I hope you guys enjoy what you see. And I hope that you guys make sure to remember that if your car burns oil, hit the subscribe button.